SX PBEs are portable breathing devices, which can be donned in 15 seconds or less in the event of an emergency. The PBE will provide crew members with oxygen, as well as protection against smoke and heat during a fire on board the aircraft. PBEs should be inspected before every flight or per your airline's operating procedures. To inspect the PBE, first check that the replace by date has not been exceeded. PBEs have a 10 and a half year shelf life. Check to see if your PBE is equipped with a tamper seal. Then inspect the humidity indicator. The humidity indicator should always be the color blue. If the replace by date has passed, tamper seal is torn, or the humidity indicator is pink, contact your maintenance department. It takes less than 15 seconds to activate and don a hood. Let's review the procedure. Access and remove the barrier pouch from its stowage container. Keep in mind that stowage options may vary depending on the aircraft. Make sure you are familiar with the stowage option used on your specific aircraft. The pouch has a red tear strip at the top and a red thumb tab on the side just below the yellow notch. Holding the red thumb tab in one hand and the red tear strip with the other, pull the red tear strip in the direction of the arrows. Next, remove the PBE and unfold. It is not necessary to remove your eyeglasses to don the hood. Grasp a cylinder in each hand. Rotate the cylinders so that the activation clips are facing each other. Firmly and quickly, pull the cylinders apart. Make sure both clips are detached from the cylinders. Oxygen will begin to flow as the cylinders are separated. For PBEs with a red tether ball, firmly grasp one of the oxygen cylinders, which is wrapped in yellow, in one hand and the red ball with the other. Quickly pull the red ball away from the cylinder to activate the oxygen. With the oxygen cylinders positioned shoulder width apart and close to your body, Place both hands, palms together, inside the elastic neck seal opening. Stretch the neck seal open, lean your body forward, and slip the hood over your head. Quickly tuck in any hair so that the seal sits securely around your neck. Upon activation, you may begin to hear a hissing sound as oxygen flows into the hood from the cylinders. This hissing sound will last 8 to 10 minutes as oxygen flows into the hood. The hood will inflate completely in approximately 2 minutes. Essex PBEs feature an electronic end of service indicator. This indicator is located inside the lower portion of the hood and is clearly visible to the crew member while wearing the PBE. A green light on the end of service indicator will begin to flash as soon as oxygen is activated. Essex PBEs will provide a minimum of 15 minutes protection, but may last longer. The actual duration time will vary depending on your physical size and level of exertion. After 15 minutes, the red light on the end of service indicator will begin to flash. The hood will also start to collapse on your head. These are indications that you should find a safe area to remove the hood and don another one, if necessary. To communicate while wearing the hood, hold the device to your lower throat area or near your mouth on the outside of the hood and speak loudly. It may be necessary to pull the head shield down so the scrubber panel does not inhibit the device. Do not open the neck seal after donning as this would allow smoke or fumes to enter your hood. It may start to feel warm inside the hood and around the neck seal. This is normal and is due to warm air being exhaled into the hood, combined with the action of the scrubber panels as they remove the CO2 that is exhaled. 
it is also normal that some condensation may occur. Once the PBE is no longer required, remove and discard the hood appropriately. Never reuse your PBE under any circumstance. For questions or more information, contact Essex Industries.